Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the physiology portion of MRCS. Which part of jugular venous waveform is associated with closure of tricuspid valve? So, in case of jugular venous pressure wave curve, uh, what curve would be present in case of tricuspid valve closure? So, closure of the tricuspid valve occurs at which of the wave? Here the options. Options are A wave, C wave, X descent, Y descent and the wave so first of all let's see the jugular venous pressure so here we can see this is the jugular venous, venous pulse or jugular venous pressure it is defined as the oscillatory top of the vertical column of the blood in the right internal jugular vein this is the right internal jugular vein and it reflects pressure changes in the right atrium in the cardiac cycle so actually it is uh, found in the uh, right internal jugular vein pressure but it is directly represent the right atrial pressure or right atrial event so right internal jugular venous curve it actually represents the right atrium so jugular venous pressure it is vertical height of the oscillatory column of the blood so here we can see this is the pressure here we can see the waveform pressure a here and actually we measure here and it represented from the right right atrium because the right atrium here we can see the right atrium it is direct continuation of the right internal jugular vein so here we can see this is a normal internal jugular venous pressure curve and in this here we can see some of the upward deflection and some downward deflection here upward deflection first of all a then c then b so a c b they are the upward deflection that means in this part of the curve pressure in the internal jugular vein or pressure in the right atrium will be increased and here we can see first of all this is the x descent and here this is the y descent so during the x descent and during the y descent this two times the right atrial pressure will be reduced and it will be known to us by the internal jugular venous pressure so the internal jugular venous pressure curve it has total five parameters among them three are upward deflection a c and b that means this time during the a c and b time this time the pressure within the internal jugular vein will, will increase and also in the right atrium increase but during the x deflection and during the y deflection that means the during the x descent and during the y descent the this time internal jugular venous pressure will be reduced and right atrial pressure will be reduced so here we, we can see this is the normal waveform of jugular venous pressure so first of all here we can see this is a a for atrial contraction actually it is the right atrial contraction so when the right atrium contract the pressure within the right atrium will be increased which will be shown in the internal jugular feed then here we can see the x descent that means it is the downward deflection that means the when blood pressure reduce when pressure reduce in the right atrium and here we can see this is the arterial relaxation so the x descent it represent arterial arterial atrial relaxation then if we here we can see this c another upward deflection and at this time right atrial pressure will be increased and here we can see it is c it is bulging of tricuspid valve with ventricular contraction so when ventricular contraction occur the tricuspid valve it will bulges within the right atrium due to ventricular contraction so this bulging point it represented c in the jugular venous pressure waveform then here we can see x descent and here we can see this waveform is very very large so this time it occurs during the tricuspid valve so it is uh, so first of all it is the x uh, deflection actually the main x deflection is here which is the x dash and it is occurred due to downward movement of the tricuspid valve with ventricular contraction and we can see b b for passive arterial filling so b 
V is another positive deflection and this time pressure with the right atrial will be increased and it is the V. And finally here we can see another Y which is downward deflection and it occurs due to arterial impeding, uh, impeding due to opening of the tricuspid valve. So this is all about the JVP. Again here we can see this is the A, A for arterial contraction. So A for arterial contraction and the X descent it causes a relaxation of the right atrium. Then C, C is another positive reflection and it occurs tricuspid valve closes. So C for closure, C for closure and closure of the tricuspid valve. Then here we can see X dash and this extends it occurs due to right ventricular contraction extra space with pericardium along the right atrium to begin filling with blood and v for the filling of the right atrium again a closed tricuspid valve and y for tricuspid valve open and blood release from the right atrium So I think uh, this is now clear that the important positive deflection then this positive deflection are A, C and B. First of all this A, A for atrial contraction, C, C for closure of tricuspid and B for during the volume increase within the atrium. So again A for atrial contraction, C for closure. A for atrium that means the atrial contraction, A means atrium that means the atrium contraction, C for closure, C for closure, C for closure and it is closure of the tricuspid valve and V for volume refill, V for volume refill it occurs in the right atrium, all events are in the right atrium. So the positive deflection first of all A, A for atrial contraction, A for A. A means atrial contraction. Then C, C for closure, C for closure, closure of the tricuspid valve. Then B for volume filling, B for volume filling. So this is in short about the positive deflection of the JVP. A for atrial contraction, C for closure of tricuspid valve and B for volume filling. So here we can see the pathological JVP waveform. First of all, absent A wave, it occurs in atrial fibrillation. This point is very, very, very important. A absent during atrial fibrillation. Then here we can see the large A wave and canon A wave. The large A wave, it occurs during the right at temperature is more, more increased during the pulmonary hypertension or pulmonary stenosis. Then here we can see canon A wave, it occurs in complete heart block. So among the pathological condition, this three condition is very, very important. And among them, the A wave is the most important. First of all, absent A wave, it occurs in arterial fibrillation. And large A wave, it occurs pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary stenosis. And canon A wave, it is complete heart block. So here, now our answer ready, it is closer, it is closer. It is closer C for C. It is known to us that C for C. That means the closer, that means C wave. Closer of tricuspid, there is C wave. So, first of all, A wave and other waves such as the A wave, A for atrial contraction, and C is now clear. C is the closer. And B, B for volume filling. B for volume filling. So, our answer is. C wave because during the closure of the tricuspid valve, C wave develop. Thank you all.